Well, Hal here with more Space Engineers Escape from Mars. And, uh, yeah, we shot down a drone. <laughs> oh, so let's go take a look. First, we have to get started. So let's go. Alright, so... Oh, hello. Uh, collision issues. All right. <laughs> well, let's go take a look here. And I'm kind of curious. So what happened was, is uh, we went over to the flight center, spawned the drone in, um, got the hell out of Dodge, and it just kind of sat where it was. So what we ended up doing, I can't tell if that's a warhead or something back there um, but yeah so what we ended up doing was basically took the long way around came up uh, I guess you could say kind of behind it I'm really hoping there's nothing explosive in there I'm not seeing anything um, we got lucky so we have you know obviously the four cannons on it and we got really lucky that we took his guns out first. Now, he did get a rocket shot off on us. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing really explosive left in here. And um, so, yeah, we basically just got a bunch of free parts, it looks like. Seeing some batteries in there. So we can take some of the stuff apart here. Uh, but what was funny was is that on the way back, well on the way down I should say, um, yeah it just basically came in low while it was shooting at us. It was, it was setting up for a strafing run. And I need to start getting some of these things disabled. Come on. So yeah, we'll see if we get some of this stuff out of here. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, like I was saying, basically it came in for a low strafing run. The uh the ship shot it down, it hit the ground and slid. With, obviously it had the main thruster still going as well, but it ended up sliding, I think close to 200 meters, and just left a trail of debris behind it. So we ended up with um, like 2k, maybe more. I have to check. But we ended up with a crap ton of scrap metal. And now we're going to take this thing apart and see how much so we got another 400 on us. So we're going to be paying another visit to Mickey's. Well, Mickey's, I guess. <laughs> However you want to say the name. Yeah. So basically, if you can get a couple of guns going, and you can reliably shoot down the drones, specifically if you can get some rocket launchers, I'd love to have rocket launchers. Um, mainly because the rocket launchers are really accurate, really far out. And they do a ridiculous amount of damage, unlike the miniguns, which I have spread on the shots. I'm tempted to just go ahead and pick this thing up and see if we can get... I'm not sure if we'd be able to pick this one up or not, because the last one we picked up, using the little, uh, the little runabout, I was going to say, the last one we ended up picking up was because it was, you know, like half of this with no actual parts on it. It was just metal frames, and I think there might have been like an engine or something. So, let's go ahead and park you there. 
Go ahead and drop all this stuff off. So, yeah, we've got a little over 3k scrap so far. So, um, Miki's gonna be rather happy to see us again. Right. So if we take these out... Doesn't it figure we lose daylight as uh, everything starts coming in? Come on. You can do it! Alright, and then we're gonna pick this stuff up. This is one of the situations where I really like to have Bob installed just for, you know, picking up the loose stuff. Alright, so if we pick up... I'm not sure what is part of the actual ship and what isn't, so... Alright, so you are actually not part of that. I'm wondering... What we may do here... Is if we go five, all right. So I'm not sure how much charge this thing has. Yeah, I know it's got no fuel because I've got you on recharge. do is we're gonna move this little beast over here and we're gonna kill those no turn recharge on uh -huh. <laughs> yeah this should work actually So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a little area to have things reside in here. We're gonna bring this to yeah, we'll do a three by three. That's fine. Let's see if we can do this fast enough that we don't waste too much hydrogen. you back how much do we have? a lot but we do need to grind down the small section of course these are only one plate per I'm wondering if it might be better there you go this, this, and up. So I'm wondering if we'll be able to pick up both sections and drop them off on there. Now I probably should go ahead and weld that up, but we'll see if we can grab this first. There we go. So it's a slightly larger chunk than what we had before. Let's make sure we are actually clear. All right, and then yes, we will go weld up this whole little beast. Right, so let's get you down there. So this is basically what I did 
Hello. Basically what I did before, it's just this time we actually went through the problem of building something to carry it all. What I ended up doing last time was just basically uh, carrying it back straight over there and then dropping it off. Right, so, so if we do this... Looks like this might work. Look at you. All right. Of course, this does mean I'm going to need to build a uh, an actual landing pad for this thing now. Because <laughs> mm. I don't want to take it. I don't want to have a chance of it doing damage to too much of the uh, the important stuff. Uh. All right. So we go. Eight. No fuel. Turn that back on. We should be okay for now. Look at that. Right. So first things first, we're going to go ahead, drop off all of our miscellaneous stuff. Let me go ahead and just grab like a thousand plates out of here. Oh, uh, recharge. So this is basically what I do or what I have started doing off camera in order to be able to get some of the stuff up and running. That. Why did it look like the communication satellite was moving? This in. See if I was really gonna drag this out and make something uh, completely useful. I'd actually have built a couple of rotors, or at least a rotor, um, and maybe some pistons, and then use that to basically build like a dump truck scenario, which I may still do. <laughs> now, don't forget, this is a storyline thing, so I'm kind of just having some fun with it and taking my time. Um, if we were doing everything as fast as possible, I would probably be off Mars already. So just do keep that in mind. I'm not overly stressing things, but at the same time, I'm not all that worried about everything either. So Mickey's scrap is 12k. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take my time, head back that way. We'll let the rest of the debris basically get itself cleared out. Oh, so I will bring you back once we're back to Miki's. All right, <laughs> see you in a bit. And we're back. And as you can tell, we haven't really gotten all that far. Um, I'm actually thinking we're going to leave the cannons turned on. I'm going to grab the parts to make a seat. Specifically, uh, I need a control station. Do we have the parts to make one of these? We do. We have the parts to make two of these. Perfect. So what we're going to do is I am going to go hit the Flight Research Center. And we're going to try. So everything over here should be... G-Corp, facility threat. Dispatching additional drones. Hopefully everything should be out. Should be okay. Is that something shooting at me? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Why am I... Really? Alrighty then. I don't know if we'll be able to get there before the... cleanup system gets it. I'm not sure why we died, because 
don't think I was going that fast, but... So there is still a gun over there. is the rifle. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Do I not have a rifle at all? Oh, are you kidding me? So, all these bases look like everything is still offline. Access is denied on this. We'll definitely take interior chert has Thing is closing on us. We have no weapon. That's actually not a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and break this stuff down. Now I do want to put you down really quick. Hopefully we can do this really fast. And we can go power down. It's faster to go through the faster to go through this way. Come on. Come on. And what I'm hoping for. is that if we do this should be able target identified all this converge this could be bad this could be very bad Okay, so if we go that way, so, all right, so we're going to let, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it out of here. It sucks that it despawned my gun. All right, so what do we have? We don't really need we can core facility threat dispatching additional drone. Okay. Pursuing targets, they've called for backup. And we're out of hydrogen. Okay. So what we're going to do is if we do this, 
we own that now and that'll hopefully occupy him a little bit and all right this is gonna be bad yep nope, that's bad that's bad ow 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 <laughs> Come here, you. Why do you keep spawning me with... that crap? Alright, All right, so let's... We got two of these things. It just ate my backpack again. So the first one's trying to return to base. So we're going to park right here. And I want to see if this one comes into range of our, uh, you know, let's turn the or detector off just to get some of the stuff off of our menu here, or off of our UI. Right, how close are you? Because if we can get directly under him, hopefully... We don't want to get to 1.2, because if we get inside of 1.2 of the one trying to return to base, it'll start shooting at them. So, let's see if he's going to get close enough to us. He might be able to get, oh, he might be able to get close enough. We'll see. Now the question is, is will it happen? So it is now technically closer. I don't know if we're actually hitting it, that's the problem. Looks like we might be. I mean, I won't say no to more salvage. I think I'm gonna do actually. That was not what I intended to do. We're gonna grab this one. Let's see if we can do enough. Because I would really like to be able to disable. So this is why I need the rockets. You see how the, the weapon, the, the spread on that fire? Eh. Looks like we may have 
knocked out enough turrets, or uh, enough uh, thrusters to knock him down. Let's see if they're actually moving towards us or not. Oh. So now what we're going to run into is if we get within 700 or so, 800 meters. Facility scanners have picked up a hostile. Dispatch nearby patrol to location. All right, this is just getting ridiculous. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drive through at this point. come back out maybe we'll have some salvage next time we come back over here <laughs> oh are you following us nope he is he is down oh that's bad that's bad that's bad oh Okay, so looks like at least one of them is down. They've all got power, so they shouldn't despawn. But we did lose a bunch of materials, which I'm not happy about, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and take all the rest of this stuff over to Miki and uh, see if he's going to give us anything good for it. Uh, all right, so we've got a bit of a ride ahead of us. I will uh, do a quick break, and we will be right back. And we're back. So, uh, we are here at Miki's. I'm going to show you what we were talking about with the burners before. Looks like. Go ahead and bring ourselves down here a wee bit. Now, I have not gotten that damn forklift there or the crane to work. So I have given up trying with it. So we're just going to go ahead and bring this whole little beast in. Alright, come to a stop. Drop that off. We're going to go ahead and land this thing right here because we can. Hey, look at you. Okay, so I'll do that. So we have the batteries recharging while we're waiting. You hit the button. Yeah, so basically there's some sensors in there that will detect grids, I'm guessing. And as you can see, it's updating the, the display, telling you, you know, the furnace is active. It'd be kind of cool to be able to see it, and unfortunately, I don't think... Yeah, so we can't get into anything. Because there, when you're looking down in there, there it does look like it's a... Uh, there's a 
an area to be able to, to observe what's going on. Alright, and then when it's done doing whatever it needs to do, it's going to spit parts out over here for us. And th this will actually give us resources, not just like uh, pre-configured pre parts. Furnace is still active. Should change here in a moment. I think it depends on how big the stuff is that you drop off in there. So, give it just a... Yep, there you go. So that gave me 3k, almost 4k iron. Just for that little chunk. So, uh, yeah. I'm kind of curious. This is a really bad idea. Oh, interesting. So that's... That's kind of cool. So it has a collection port there. So basically what it does is the... Oh, let's get out of here before we run out of fuel. <laughs> Might be a bad idea to sit in there too long. Uh, so basically what it does is the large thrusters break everything down into scrap metal. The, t the wheels, I'm guessing, rotate and bounce until things get pushed into the uh, the collection port which means you're only going to get the stuff that doesn't get actually destroyed okay makes sense uh, let's go ahead and get this redocked up I am really sad that we can't use the uh, the whole thing as a base. That'd be kind of cool if we could, because it's got refineries in there and I would love to be able to drop off a bunch of material to refine it. And it is kind of weird that basically you can't do that. Because it's like, if you've got refineries, you should let me uh, refine stuff. Oh well. All right, so I think this one is going to probably be about it for today because what I'm going to do now is head back over to the base I'm going to see if we because I want I really want to try and get some of the supplies that are out of there so we're going to do that we're going to do that okay and that all thing that all thing's working pretty nicely So yeah, I do think I'm going to head back to the base, see if I can salvage any more of the ships. You know what? I'm wondering... If we head over to the headquarters... Because that's a ground base... Air base. I'm betting if we head towards the headquarters, I'm wondering if we'll trigger another event. Hmm. Alright, tell you what. Let me do one more quick cut. We'll head over that way, see if we trigger anything. And we'll be right back. And we're back. So, on the way over, I realized that we had... Um, <laughs> Reactor components in inventory. Reactor components use silver. So, I was able to make some uh, bottles, some hydrogen bottles specifically. So that should help, but we also noticed lots of little turrets over here. Look at this. So, looks like we've got maybe some missile turrets out there. Yeah, that's looking like that might be a missile turret. Maybe another one over there. Um, it may just be gunnery turrets. I don't know. But they're obviously a little bit further out. But I don't know what the range on them are. Because they don't have an ID.
Now I do want to be careful here because I don't want to get in a situation where we end up dumping the ship. Extremely dangerous. Good to know. See, it would be really nice if we had rockets. I would really, really like to have rockets. Because if we had rockets, we could take one shot on that and we would know if it was in range or not. <sighs> All right. So I'm seeing rockets up there. What we could do. And I thought I moved all the iron over. Alright, so let's grab a drill grinder. And we have no ammo, so that won't do me any good. Got a little bit of ammo left in here. Let's move on down there. Alright. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go welder, grinder, drill. Because okay. so, what I'm thinking we may do, this is a really bad idea, is I'm thinking we may dig into the terrain and basically come up under that. Because if we come up underneath it, uh, we'd be able to take it out. Hopefully. All right, let's. Uh, all right, so how far out can we? Man, that is some flat terrain. All right, so if I can get that way. Hmm. Because basically what I'm looking for is to be able, I'm hoping. Convoy dispatch. Yeah, so what I'm hoping to be able to do is to get ourselves... I can't see crap with all the UI stuff. Alright. Why does that look like there's something over there? That looks like there might be something over there. The hell is that? Oh. Alright. Do this instead. Why do a suicide mission if you don't have to, right? Cause that looked like there was a crater over here somewhere. There's a crater over there. Now, hopefully, 
if we stay high enough, we will stay out of... Come on. Trying very hard to uh, stay outside of their attack range. See, there looks like a crater over there as well. Okay, so let's go take a look over here. So there's definitely a crater over there with some stuff in it. I can see stuff over there, but I'm not sure what it might be. Convoy Escort, I'm seeing another base. So what I was thinking is we could try to do a sacrificial play because I need to get to the communication satellite. It's 50k up, right? So if we were to build something that was effectively a seat with a uh, atmospheric thruster on it to get me up as high as, I'm, as high as we can into the atmosphere. Why are we seeing no fuel? No fuel. No fuel. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. No fuel. No fuel. There we go. Okay, so we'll leave you turned on, turn you off. What are we looking at for uh, our batteries time? No fuel. Fuel charge. If we turn our batteries off of recharge. So. We'll see what we're looking at for uh, power here, sorry. No fuel. Fully depleted in one hour just hanging out here. No fuel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what might be out of fuel? Our reactor. No, reactor's got plenty of fuel. Okay, well, the hell with you then. All right. So what I'm thinking... Okay, so there's a really big crater over there. So this is not the crater that I was looking for then. Because that looks like there's something in the cra in a crater over there. Um, no fuel. And I'm thinking we need to get over there. I want to get enough height so we don't. Because it's obviously we're running into some uh, surface texture issues, and I want to make sure we don't crash into anything. Because when it gets like this. It becomes very, very easy for us to uh, accidentally crash into, you know, the surface. So even though you don't see it, uh, we actually were seeing this in some of the earlier playthroughs as well. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to head a little further this way. And I think I'm going to set down somewhere over here in the immediate future. So it says we've got three hours worth of time. I want to see 19 minutes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to I think coast in here a little.
And what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. I want to thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What we'll be doing next time is doing a little exploration and seeing if we can find that crater. Because it might be that one right there. Let's go take a look and see. Because I, I want to find whatever it is. Because it looked like there was something in a crater somewhere. Oh, yep, that's the crater. Oh, yeah, that's definitely something in there. What the hell is it? All right, let's see if we can set this thing down. And uh, when we come back next time, we will be exploring that crater. All right, so if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to throw them down in the section below. And if you have any tips, you know, um, you can throw those down there too. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, haven't done so already, I do ask that you subscribe as well. Not only the likes, the comments, and subscriptions all help the channel to grow. Um, they let me know you're enjoying the content. And know what I was saying about that whole invisible terrain thing? <laughs> See? I'm not paranoid. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week. And we will see you back here next time for more Space Engineers Escape from Mars. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. I'm wondering if we should go back. Because I don't know what that is. That looks like some kind of crashed thing. Maybe a base? That would be interesting. Oh. I guess we'll find out.